Will and Kristen asked me to say a few words about the land that you're on here today. You know, we refer to it as a ranch. This land has given everything it has for three generations now for any family member that would call it home. This land is home right now to Linda and I, and we love being here. This land, others have called home in the past. Others will call home in the future. This land for tonight is home to you and everyone around you, and we couldn't be happier to share it with you. So enjoy the rest of your evening, and welcome to today's Rockin' Tea Ranch. I uh, always love when I get to spend time with this side of my wife's family, uh, considering I'm probably one of the few men here whose ankles are showing. It always makes me feel a little tougher to say I'll be at the ranch this weekend. Hey, well, I'm so honored to be a part of this special day. Will and Kristen, you guys have uh, such a funny story, and it's pretty meaningful to know that it's being written in even a deeper sense tonight in a location that holds such special memories for your relationship. William Robert Thorman, I love you. I've dreamt of this moment for as long as I can remember and I'm so excited and honored to become your wife today. It's crazy to think that we could have never met. A California girl meets a Texas country boy in Chicago through a dating app. There were many life choices that led us here today and I'm so happy that fate brought us together. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. Mm. Love it. Oh my god. That is gorgeous, boo. Thank you. Gorgeous. I love you. Kristen, <laughs> after dating four years, moving across the country, and all this planning, here we are on the Rock and Tea, very close to the first spot we said I love you. We now come in front of our family and friends to say I do. I knew that after our first couple of dates and that first kiss at Lottie's, <laughs> that being with you would be an adventure, but could only dream it would turn into a lifetime. I feel like the luckiest man in the world right now to be marrying you. You are beautiful, fun, loving, hardworking, generous, kind, patient, and so much more. The way you support and believe in me is more than anyone could ask for. And I promise as your husband to show my love for you that same way, to never take you for granted, to always remind you how special you are to me, because you'll always be my boo. There are so many things I love about you and I love about our relationship. I love your kind soul and your fierce loyalty to your family, friends, and every animal you meet. I mean, look at how many people love you who are here today. I love our cute inside jokes that no one else would understand, being cozy, and our many ridiculous nicknames we call each other. I love how you make me feel like the most beautiful girl in the room. I love what I see when I dream of our future together. I see you as the most loving and very fun dad, someone you already are to our precious Bruno. As your wife, I promise to love you unconditionally, support your dreams, and keep life fun. I'll tell you what you told me in that text the first weekend we said I love you. Will, you make me happier and a better person. I love us, I love you. I can't wait to spend forever with you. I love you so much. To live a love that always hopes means that you truly believe the best is yet to come. That deep down you have the confidence to know your marriage can embrace it all. So Will, understanding the commitment you are making to Kristen, I want to ask you this important question. In taking Kristen as your wife, do you promise to be faithful to her in tender love and honor? Offering her encouragement, comfort, and companionship. And will you live with her, cherish her, and respect her in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? If so, you may answer. I do. I do. I do.
special promises to each other before God, family, and friends, which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and by giving and receiving of the rings. So by the power vested in me by God and the Church of the Nazarene, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Will, you may now kiss your bride.